All right, for this video and the next video, we're going to look at some division action. First, the NL Central, not the Cardinals. The Pittsburgh Pirates hosting the lovable losers, the Chicago Cubs. Cubs in second place in a division, eight games above. Pirates, 10 games under, trying to fix things in Pittsburgh. Contreras it will be on the mound for Pittsburgh. And something to keep an eye on, Swanson coming in with an eight game hit streak. Round one, Contreras fly out to left and a uneventful top of the first half for Chicago. Swanson will get a couple more chances though. Wisniewski on the mound for the Cubs. ERA just south of 4.75 at 472, four and three. For Pittsburgh, all focus on Brian Reynolds. He was batting above 400 when we played him. He's in a quote unquote slump right now, dropping to a measly 384. And in his first at bat, he walks and guess what? That's gonna load the bases for Pittsburgh. They gotta make something happen here. Two outs later on a full count, Connor Joe singles up the middle and that will drive in two. So Pittsburgh not gonna waste the opportunity here. They take two see what they can do. Suzuki, next inning, inside out one, inside outs one to right hand McCutcheon, showing the glove out there in right field, making the catch. We'll take another look here with StatCast. Good route, or great route, like pretty much a perfect route. Nice diving play by Kutch, keeps Suzuki off of first. Top of the third, Nico Horner lines one down the line and left. And guess what? That's going to get the opening salvo going or whatever you want to call it going for the Cubs. Sliding in the second, 2-1. That extra base would matter. Ian Happ up next. And he singles and that's going to drive in a run. So now we've got a 2-2 game. Bottom of the third, G-Man Choi. Going the opposite way, hitting it into that nice, lovely area in left center. Gets to the wall. He will get to second. That's going to drive in two. So Pittsburgh retakes the lead for two. Top of the fifth, Swanson. Perfect opportunity. 0-4-2. Trying to get something going. But he flies out the catch. Tough luck. Top of the sixth, though. Cubs would take advantage. Jan Gomes, full count, bases loaded, everyone moving, everyone coming home. Grand slam. Chicago flips the script down to, up to, fifth home run of the season for Gomes and the Cubs. They just keep finding ways to produce runs. It isn't always the guys you expect. They just find ways. Top of the seven, Swanson, one, two count. Man, he's not going to keep that history going. Flies out in foul territory. And Alex going to come on in the bottom of the ninth, looking to close the deal, looking for save number 15. And what Plowecki up, grounds out. 4-3. That's your ball game. Cubs win on the road 6-4. Good one for Chicago. They're now going to move nine games above 500. You see 11 hits. They did a lot of damage, but only got things going in spurts. Let's see. Nico with four hits. Mancini with two. Mm -mm -mm. Wisniewski, four runs allowed over seven. He's going to get the win, though. Five and three. Six Ks to go along with four walks for Pittsburgh. Only three hits. Choi with two. Joe with one. So we didn't see... The single by Choi, but ouch, Reynolds, no hits, hit by pitch. Didn't take him till late in the game until he got his first actual at bat. A lot of plate appearances where he got the first without touching the ball. Winner Cubs, six to four. Garcia with the loss. Mancini, not bad. So we'll shift our focus now to the AL Central.
We'll look at some division action there.